is making six figures in voiceover. Is that even a thing? Is that possible? Sometimes, even though, I mean, it's the promise upon which I built my entire voiceover coaching career. But yet, when I say it or write it, it's, it feels and looks spammy, right? Because we've seen these ads and these kind of uh, promises made over and over again. And how many of them are actually real, for real? Um, and frankly, had I not done it, and if I wasn't doing it myself right now and hadn't, hadn't done it for so many years, I, w- I wouldn't believe it either. But like I said, it's the promise upon which I built my entire coaching career. It's why I do what I do, because I'm able to do it. And not only that, more importantly, I've been able to teach others to do the same thing. And um, this morning I went, yeah, and I've got, I've got a, a coaching uh, special that, that I'm going to tell you about. Yes, I will be doing that. But I also... Beyond that, whether you decide to take advantage of that or not, I want to encourage and motivate you by letting you know that number one, it is possible. It's even highly probable, but you have to know what you're doing, number two, and be willing to put in the work. Hard work without doing the right work is just wasted energy and results in frustration. But having the knowledge and not putting it to work, that's even, that's even worse. And frankly, I think more of the latter is going on right now. It's not that people don't have access to the information. It's just that most people aren't willing to do what it takes to make that happen. You know, and I, and when I say it's not just me, my students, you know, as I look in my voiceover blueprint program, I've got, I've got a broad range of folks who come up from a broad range of backgrounds. One thing that I know is pretty much anyone who wants to do this, as long as you're physically capable of talking and communicating can do this. And I've seen it happen over and over and over again. Some who want it as a part, you know, just a part-time gig to supplement their current job. I see those who do it part-time, but make a full-time, some would even say a better than a full-time income. My daughter, by the way, is one example, just one example of that. I have students who make six figures, multiple six figures, have even out-earned me at times. And, uh, which is exciting to see. And my job is to get as many people to be able to see and grasp onto that. Sure. I'd love for you to be in my coaching programs, but do you have to be in my coaching program to make six figures? No, you don't, but you've got to be willing to find out, dig out that information and then do the work. So yeah, it feels a little spammy talking about it. I'll be honest with you. It does, but yet it's the reality and the truth. And so I am compelled to do that. My goal, as I say every morning, the reason I'm here, the reason I'm here is to make sure that you make as much money as you possibly can in voiceover. Um, I just recently finished uh, producing a um, a demo for a young man, and uh, the demo was great. He did a fantastic job. It was a lot of fun directing him and working with him on that. And up to this point, he's only done like free jobs and uh he's struggling with the confidence i can see it i can hear it and i know what he's capable of doing but yet i see it and i hear it so often from voiceover talent it's the lack of confidence um and what's standing between them and what they want to do in voiceover is not a lack of ability or talent it's rarely that if ever what it is It's either A, a lack of knowledge, or once you have the knowledge, it's just the lack of confidence to put it, to put it into action. And it does require daily effort. So let me get now to the part about this special deal that I've got going on this week. It's under a hundred bucks. I've taken some of the prime cuts of my voiceover and I've created some new training uh, to put with that. And here's the deal. There are three activities that if you commit to putting in, you, you can do this in less than an hour. And, and typically those who are a little more experienced can do it a little bit faster. And it's not about a race. The point is it doesn't take four to eight hours a day to build this kind of income. It can be done in less than an hour a day if you're willing to do the work. So what I did was I turned on my camera in my studio and I've recorded it to show you and not just pretend, but actually doing it actually talking to prospective clients, 
actually showing you how to do the work so that you don't have to guess. It's not just somebody, a talking head telling you what to do. But I believe in my, in my coaching philosophy is I want to, I show people my blueprint. They get to watch me work. They watch me as I do my sessions, as I do the editing and such. And that's what I do in this particular coaching program. I'm going to show you how to do it. The question is, are you up for the challenge? And maybe you're not right now, and that's okay. You know, there are a number of reasons for that, and maybe your confidence isn't quite there. Some of you guys are doing the work right now. I know you are, because I watch you. I see you. I see you in my program, or I see you making the comments here in the morning to let me know you're doing. So again, this is, this is not to say a shame on you if you're not. The point is, is to encourage you and to motivate you to do the things that you need to do to get this done. You know, and if you can, if, if you'll do that, regardless of whether you do it through my training or you figure it out some other way, then my work here is done. But if you're, if you are at a place where you haven't made your first six figures and some of you guys already have, and you want to add another six figures to that, this is the way to do it. I put a link in the description below. So it's a six figure, you know, income and voiceover is a multiple six figure voiceover and income. Is it possible? Really? Can somebody really, even today, even with AI out there and with the economy, the way to, that it is, yes, 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 yes. It, it can be done. It is being done. The question is, is it being done by you? And if not, why not? And if you're ready to make that happen, then I want to encourage you to again, go below in the description, click that link, get all the details. It's less than a hundred bucks and you're going to get me showing you, demonstrating, going through the process of how to build a voiceover business. Hey guys, thanks for being here. It's always fun to, to hang out with you in the morning. And I always appreciate it when you give me your name and where you're watching or listening from this morning. So let's, let's see what's going on. We've got Phil in Tokyo. What's going on, Phil? Hey, Jessa, how are you doing? Um, <laughs> Phil's been waiting all day for this. Great stuff. Phil, thank you so much, man. That means a lot. Um, you know, you guys are, I, I really appreciate you guys. I, I love you come here because you have the right attitude. You know, you want to learn, um, you want to, uh, and you want the encouragement, you know, you want to hang out with other people who are like-minded and that is awesome. And that's, that's why I love being here with you. Uh, let's see. We've got MG from North Carolina. One of my favorite States, Greg in Asheville, North Carolina. Awesome. A couple North Carolinians there. Dan, how are you doing in Clarkston, Michigan? Janet in Florida, Rob in lovely Loveland, Ohio. It is, it's such a, it's such a quaint town. I love it. Uh, Corey in Whitehall, Wisconsin, Patrick in Maryland, Neil in Fairfield, Steve in Oshkosh, Angel in California, Christine from the Chicagoland area. Kenny, good morning to you on the road. Hope you're doing well. Safe travels. Uh, Bob in Reedsville, North Carolina, starting his first audiobook narration today. Well, you know what that means, Bob. We're ringing the bell. Congrats to you, Bob. That's the first job is always such a big deal because there's always, there's a before and an after because that first job creates a line. And up to that point, it's just, it's kind of theoretical. It's like, yeah, you know, yeah, we'll see. And then after that line, it's like, oh yeah, I did that. I can do that. I'm going to find more people who want to hire me for that. So that's fantastic. Oh, we've got, let's see, Aaron in Columbia, Missouri, Scott in Dayton. Uh, we've got uh, the Big Apple is represented this morning. Fantastic. Gloria in Ohio. Hello, Gloria. Sherry in Amarillo. Uh, good morning, Tom in the Indianapolis area. Carl Lynn in Lake Como, Italy. Daily marketing plus recording equals money. That's right. See, Carl Lynn's got, she knows what's going on. Do like Carl Lynn. Daily marketing, recording, get it done. Tim in Altoona, Pennsylvania, good morning. Hey, Dave in New York City, Curtis in Columbus, Georgia, Rusty in the UP of Michigan, JR in Austin, Texas. Dr. Bob, how are you doing in Clearwater, Florida? He says, thanks for your impact on our lives and livelihoods. Oh, thank you, Bob. I appreciate that. Uh, Gregory says, I'm back again from Dallas County, Texas, a former Loveland, Ohio citizen. Well, you and Rob, maybe, maybe you guys have bumped into each other at some, at some place in time. Tess in Decula, Georgia. Denise in Long Island. James in Bing Binghamton, New York. Hold on, the stream moved on me. Where did you go? Uh, backing up, backing up, backing up. 
Okay, Denise in Long Island. Um, James says, I'm struggling with confidence, so appreciate this timely message. And James, man, you're not alone. I mean, that's that's the thing. If I could put that in a bottle and give that to you, that would, and I guess this is the closest I can get to that. Because that's the difference. You know, we can write things off and say, ah, that's a scam. Or ah, I can't do that. I'm not capable of that. I've never done anything like that before. But what it comes down to is either you have the confidence to do it or you don't. And if you don't have the confidence, you're willing to scare yourself half to death by doing it, in which case you gain the confidence. Because I don't care who, me or anyone, it doesn't matter who you are. When you first start doing something like this, sure, it's terrifying because you've never done it before. But what you find out, I mean, it's a paper tiger. This, there's no teeth. There's nobody going, there's, you know, there's nobody that's going to hurt you. You know, the worst thing that's going to happen is uh, you're going to have to learn some stuff. There's a learning curve and it feels awkward sometimes. And it can be frustrating anytime you're learning a new skill or doing something that you're uncomfortable with. I get that. I mean, do you think that I, that I haven't felt that? Do you think that I don't continue to feel that sometimes when I have to learn and, and push myself? Absolutely. I mean, that's, that's being human. That's, that's how we grow. You know, it's how we move forward. Um, but everybody struggles with the confidence piece, but once you're willing to, to do it, even when you don't feel brave, that's when the magic starts to happen. Rusty just got his first voiceover gig on Upwork this morning. Rusty, you know what that means? Yes, indeed. We're ringing the bell. And don't you just love this bell? Better than this lame, broken, so much better. Uh, how much actual time do you spend in your booth? For me, it's about 20%. The rest is marketing business stuff and editing. You know, it depends. <laughs> it just depends on the day. Like yesterday, I made $3,000 yesterday. You know, it wasn't one job. It was like five or six jobs that I did over the course of the day. and um, and so I was busy. I was in, in the booth, you know, for, that's probably four or five hours of actual recording time, all told. Uh, but, you know, it, it's, it's crazy. I, I can get, of course, I'm very efficient. I've done this for a long time. So the more you do it, you know, the faster you, 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 you get at doing it. But when it comes to, I mean, you know, I could make a thousand bucks in the morning before lunchtime just within a couple hours because I'm very efficient at what I do. So I don't need to be in here eight hours a day to make a really good income. Um, so, and so to answer your question, I mean, it can vary. I mean, you know, it might be an hour and a half. It might be six hours. It just, it just depends on the day. Obviously more is better because it means more work, right? Uh, John in, in, in Memphis. Yes. The home of Elvis. Indeed. Never been to Graceland. That would be, that would be fascinating. John and Rhinebeck, New York, Denisha, good morning from Jamaica. I love these morning chats. Thank you, Denisha. I'm so glad you're here. Barb in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Scotty says, can't say it enough. Thanks, Bill, uh, for the blueprint. Oh, Scotty, thank you. I'm so glad you're in there. I'm so glad you're getting her done. Doing the work. It's what it's all about. Love it. Mike, good morning to you in Toronto. Dan. Yeah. <laughs> With a big congrats to Bob. See, I, lo I love the way you guys, not only your own enthusiasm, but the, th the enthusiasm that you have for other people. And let me just say this, you know, forgive me for going off on rants here, but you know, if you come across a group online that's supportive and helpful, that's awesome. If you get involved in a group where the, where the people are taking, you know, you know, they're sniping, taking their shots at other people, trying to be negative, trying to tell you what you can't do, trying to make you feel bad in order to make themselves feel better, of course. Anytime you're in that kind of environment, just turn tail and run. You don't need that. You don't need that. There's plenty of good stuff going on. And that's what you need to plug into. You know, when you're building a business and, and, you don't, and you're building confidence, it's hard enough as it is. You don't need that kind of negative energy. So the fir at first sight of that kind of stuff, get out of there. Don't. Don't subject yourself to that. It's, this is a fragile thing. Confidence is a very fragile thing that we work with. I once remember hearing a musician talk about it. This was years ago, saying that confidence is like layers of, um, like, like a paint or uh, a lacquer that we put on something. 
you know, and we, we brush it on and it's just a very, you know, each experience we have is a very thin layer. It's very fragile. It's eggshell fragile. And it's not until we've taken a number of passes, which means we put ourselves out there, that that gets, starts to become thick and more resistant to cracking and breaking under pressure. But when you're new at this, man, it's all very fragile and you don't need that kind of negative energy. Uh, David, good morning to you in Oskaloosa, Iowa. <laughs> hey, Lisa, how are you doing this morning? She says, ring that bell. Oh, let's see here. Mo King, what's going on? Sandra in Dallas, Fort Worth. Thanks for the encouragement. I needed to hear this today. Hey, Doug, how are you doing in Greensboro? Good morning, Sherry in New York. Really appreciate your encouragement of, as, as I struggle with confidence to start. Did really, did finally order mic and focus right, assessing how to treat space. Fantastic. Action. That's what I love. Action. Don't just think about it. Don't just dream about it. Don't just research it. Don't just wait until the stars align because the stars never align. They just don't. You just do it. And that's what I love it. I love to hear that kind of stuff. Uh, let's see here. Jorge, good morning to you in Portugal. Uh, let's see here. I lost it. Where did, where did you go? The stream moved on me again. There we go. Okay, here we go. Uh, you're in Portugal, close to Porto. I just made a new recording of the VO demos following Bill's suggestion, and they came out much better. Hey, yeah, you're welcome, Jorge. Thank you. Sandra, moved, no internet yet. Yeah, yeah. Well, in the meantime, you know, a couple things. You can, you can use the hotspot on your telephone if you have that functionality, which I think most phones do nowadays. Or, you know, I've been in situations where I had no internet and I just drove down to a local McDonald's or public library, sat in the parking lot and used, and used their free internet. Whatever it takes. Okay, excuse me, I had to mute my mic. I'm got the allergy thing going on here. Uh, let's see here. Riley, good morning from Texas, getting my Fiverr up and going. Need to go back and listen to Mallory's Fiverr course. Yeah, um, good for you, Riley. Get it done. Yeah, Mallory's Fiverr course. Man, her course has helped so many people build their Fiverr business. MalloryFiverrTraining.com. That's where that's all at. Uh, Wade in Philadelphia. Awesome. Yes, Shermaine. Were you afraid when you first got started? terrified. Absolutely. I was afraid, but I hear, but there was something I was more afraid of. And that was not being able to, uh, to take care of my family because I had, I was losing my job and, uh, the company I was working for was in the process of going out of business. So I was, uh, you know, the, the bridges were burned behind me. I hadn't, you know, no place to, I, I had to, I had to make something happen. And so this was it for me. This is what I poured myself into. I didn't see failure as an option. And sure. I was terrified. Absolutely. Did I know what I was doing? Heck no, I didn't know what I was doing. No, I didn't. My gosh, I was, I mean, literally, I was like a pinball bouncing off everything and uh, trying this, that, and the other. And um, of course, there wasn't nearly the information available that there is now. Maybe that was good because, man, I see so much bad information. Uh, I'm not saying all the information is bad, but all I'm saying it's it's like a real minefield you've got to navigate these days. So, uh, I'm glad that I just decided to use, um, tried true best practices from business. And I just started ignoring the voiceover advice. And that's when my career really started to take off. Okay. ST, good morning. And Shermaine's in Vegas. All right. Fantastic. Uh, let's see here. Hey guys, thanks again for being here. I appreciate it. Now, again, if, if, if you're ready to, to learn more about this and you want somebody to show you how it's done, literally come into the studio with me and I'll just do it and show you go below, click the link. It's, uh, some of my best stuff I'm trying to, you know, making you available at a really, really low price point. It's this week only though, after this, and then it disappears. So Go below, click it, get all the details, uh, make a decision, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.